Hi, welcome to my channel. <laughs> oh my God, nobody should have this much spare time that they uh, start a project like this. But <clears throat> I was watching Dee Dee and uh, she did a flip through of the December Daphne's Diary. And I also recall that I think it was Colleen or Kathy Berg talking about this kind of art that showed on these two pages where this woman from the week and I think she's from the UK is taking stuff from her house things that's just lying around and then she's making images out of them and as you can see this is like a, a close-up of the Audrey Hepburn uh, picture it is really like tiny different stuff but mostly buttons so um, <laughs> I, I see I had to try it out and it's um, getting along you know so I feel that now I could turn on the camera <laughs> but I'm telling you I'm telling you nobody should have this much spare time because it is a very tedious job Um, it doesn't look that awesome up close but I have to admit that the further you uh, view it from the better it looks you can more see the the shapes when you're standing further away so but the thing is that you need to blow it up in a certain size before you can get the full effect of uh, okay I think if you have like tiny pearls or something you you may be able to to do this without blowing blowing it up <laughs> but I didn't have that many uh, tiny things and I went through all my stash of buttons and then I um, just settled for my stash I didn't want to go out and buy anything to make this project so um, I was looking at my supply of, of buttons and was thinking that oh oh man I may um, I may have to settle for something that's like small because as you can see I really made an indent into my buttons and I sorted them out in color so I was trying to uh, be able to make something that would look a little bit like a skin tone but then um, I'm, I'm telling you it's uh, it's very uh, <laughs> tedious work <laughs> oh man I think I need to color this uh, in more I'm using um, background color. I don't know if that's how you should uh, do it, but I'm doing it because I think it will make it a ton easier for myself. Before I started this project, I was Googling about it and then I saw that someone on YouTube also had uploaded, I think she called it button art, and then I sat down and viewed her upload and she told this story about somebody in her family died and then she inherited that person's button collection and then <laughs> she was a quilter so she thought it's such a shame that these buttons are just uh, lying there in, in the cases and nobody is uh, looking at them so she decided to just try it out on one quilt to include buttons in it and then it just grew and then suddenly she have like several art pieces where she has used fabrics and then the buttons <laughs> it's, it's like this you start a project and then you probably need some colors or something so she also started to buy more buttons and then the word spread around and then suddenly her friends uh, start donating her their old <laughs> buttons. So now, because she inherited this collection of buttons and didn't want that collection to go to waste, she ended up collecting buttons herself. I mean, that is just, it just makes me laugh, you know, because I could easily understand how she's uh, sitting and needs some. Um, some special colored buttons and then starting to purchase them herself oh my god 
but I have a, a small collection. These are my pearls. I don't have more than this. Uh, I also got some sequins and then um, this is my stash. So I have to kind of make it work and I'm a little bit in doubt what to do about the shirt. I would like the idea of having like um, the silver sequins be the fabric of the shirt and then maybe I could use these beautiful pearls as some sort of a collar. Uh, so um, yeah, what I do is that I first paint the background and then uh, in this case now I have to put in round pearls. So I think I'm just gonna play it safe and deposit a fat layer of glue. And then it's simply just uh, assembling. <laughs> but as you can see, I only got this selection of pearls, so it's perfect. I think I may just have enough to do this uh, kind of a collar. Is it called that? But it feels good to use up my stash because uh, I don't actually have the patience to work with um, jewelry or pearls or, you know, I really had a vision when I bought this uh, collection of stuff here, the pearls. It was because I had this jewelry, jewelry box set that I was uh, gifted. For, I think it was a birthday and <laughs> I haven't used a lot from it but now I, I, I took it out because I think that I would love to um, make some sort of earring for this woman and I also uh, got some silver uh, pearls right there that I may be able to use Okay, now I'm looking at it. It's actually a nice selection. Also got these and these. No, stick to the plan. These compartments are so tiny. All my fingers are so fat. Somewhere in that, between that, it's just hard to get these things up. But this is like very, very time consuming. <laughs> what, what, what I think I should do is that I should... Look now, I'm only able to take up two pearls at a time. Um, I should um, simply just pause the camera and then just uh, record here and there. <laughs> this is like really, really insane to watch. Oh my god. Okay, let's just start with that. And then always I put a lid on things because I don't trust myself, you know. I would really hate life if I tipped this box and it landed on my floor. Then I really think that I was just gonna vacuum clean it all up and call it a day. <laughs> so... But yeah, let me just pause the camera and then uh, just film sporadically the progress of, of this, what can we call this, this uh, collage painting? Yada yada. So I uh, use this, uh, I think it's called Aline Tacky Glue. I ran out of the glitter glue from... I think it was called Arts or Crafts Company or something. But it's called Glitter Glue. Not because there's glitter in it, but because that's what people used when they have to glue down glitter. And uh, the, the good thing about the Glitter Glue is that it dries up really fast and then um, transparent. I think that this glue dries out pretty acceptable transparent. <laughs> but... Um, 
I really would have loved if I had the glitter glue for this because the drying time from this uh, tacky glue is a little bit longer so what I've done is that I've m mounted a lot of <laughs> buttons on a row and then the plan is to come back and use up the last of my buttons as some sort of a second row to cover up some of these empty spaces but um, I don't think that I really need to do that the only reason why I'm doing it is, is because I would love to use up all the buttons imagine everything got used so I don't have that really small collection of, of buttons left because what can you honestly what can you do with <laughs> with just such a tiny collection and I wouldn't uh, motivate myself to go out and shop more just to have more you know you know <laughs> you know if I was like super rich I would think like that I would be like oh I used up my stash of particular colored buttons so I should f some sort of, so, sort of fill it up um, yeah I'm using a skewer to pick up these sequins so far it works okay but I need to um, I only have this sequ this much sequence so I need to mix it up with a string of pearls to spread out the the sequins yeah <laughs> I can talk and do this at the same time oh man yeah but the um, you know Serac the artist that works with dots I did actually try out one of his techniques <laughs> and I was so bored it was like I was I started out this uh, painting could you call it that and then uh, I'm the kind of person I finish I'm a finisher <laughs> so um, I of course finished off the the painting and I, I was just I was thinking you know what I'm never ever never gonna do this again because I was so stinking boring <laughs> and then guess what the second project I jump across is somewhat similar okay I'm just gonna put this these sequins down while the glue is wet and then I'm gonna fetch the my uh, interpretation of a Surak painting <laughs> I did like a floral garden uh, painting impressionistic style I think that's not the easy you know, it was relatively easy compared to if I had to paint a face or something but Surak mostly also did landscapes and when he did humans it was like uh, the whole figure of of person sitting at the shore of of a river or some you know so <laughs> there must be a reason why he's not jumping into portraits with his style you know up close portrait so i chose a, a landscape but uh, i have to say that why it was a little bit tedious and boring to do landscape was because it was so much the color green so uh, I kind of regret that I didn't do like a, a sea slash green landscape <laughs> because then I would um, have the joy of working with at least a blue color here and there <laughs> so oh my god look I'm just gonna finish off this while I'm I got it I probably am using too much glue but better be safe than sorry right I would really hate if <laughs> I was uh, too stingy with the glue and stuff started to fall off or something 
this is going to be hung up somewhere in my house because I really think that I <laughs> spent so much time on it that um, it should be displayed whether the family likes it or not and uh, sad for them is that <laughs> I got a vacant space in the living room and that would be perfect because uh, then I would be able to walk away from the collage several meters so that I can see it from a distance because I, I really think that this art style should be showcased so that you can walk step back several meters to get that impressionistic view of uh, the face and then the fun part is to walk up closer 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 <laughs> and then spotting that oh my god what makes a picture in your brain when you're standing further away is actually <laughs> tiny things tiny tiny things glued on Oh, luck is a lady. Can you see how I just got the amount of sequins that I need for this? Okay, now she's got a silvery New Year's Eve shirt on. Looking fabulous. Fabulous? Yeah, let me grab that <laughs> painting I'm talking about. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this is crazy. This consists of like a million tiny dots, 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 dots. I mean, it is so insane. And I have never been so bored in my whole life when, <laughs> it's when I did this. This is so crazy. I mean, I will never, ever, ever try this uh, style out again. I really dislike it. Um... Yeah, but it, it, you have to try it. I have to try it. And uh, I finished off the landscape from inspired by Gustav Klimt. And as you can see, it turns out a little bit folk art, I think, in my opinion. I read up about it. He had some time in Venice, actually. And uh, in Danish, it's called Gardasun. I don't know what it's called in, in English, but there is a big lake area and I could imagine that this was um, inspired by one of those geographic places around that lake because when you see air footage from that place from Google Maps, you can see that um, the buildings next to the, the shore of the lake do have these terracotta roofs and it's like in terrace uh, terraces because it's like a, a hillside so yeah it's fun <laughs> now I'm working on um, this is a printout of the Gustav Klimt painting that I would like to do my rendition of by using alcohol markers and I'm just starting on it haven't finished it yet but this is a good start so uh, I used alcohol markers and as you can see I'm not that good at blending or at all so it's good for me to try out these um, <laughs> these kind of things because it makes me use stuff that I'm not uh, normally using you know okay I'm thinking that I need to put this up close to the camera so you can see the details more for instance her shirt that I'm working on here is sequins and then rows of um, round pearls. Look at the lips <laughs> and the nose. It is so funny. And then I use the Tim Holt uh, glossy accent to get that eyeliner. I was thinking if I should take some black string or something, but then I'm like, nah, I don't want to fiddle with it. So, and this is a skin tone in the forehead. I could have made the forehead much larger because in real life it's uh, very slim and narrow. But I was thinking that I would prefer more black hair instead of more forehead. <laughs> 
so yeah oh. <laughs> but um now i would love to uh, put more layers up here to use up that sorry stash of uh, buttons hmm i think i need just a tiny row of some sort of color to break out this silver pattern here so let me try <laughs> oh I just spilled some glue yeah <laughs> Let me see if I can just... It's like a hit and miss. Yeah, I'm looking at the camera, um, it helps me look at it from some sort of a distance because I'm sitting really close to this. I actually think it helped to bring just a, just a different color to this. Yeah, you can, you can tell it <laughs> that it's there. Oh my god, this is so tedious. I wish that I had a different glue hmm. okay I'm still thinking about how her earring should be I would like something in gold um, and then I'm not sure what the design should be <laughs> first I was thinking maybe I have like something jewelry you know like a a brooch a brooch or you know something <laughs> from um, my little trinket box that I could use as uh, the earring hmm yeah <laughs> that was fast I used up all those tiny pearls or these round pearls I thought that I had for at least like four of these swirl hmm, but guess not so, um, I think I am overestimating my stash. <laughs> but I have to say that it kind of feels good to use up these uh, items right here. I've had them for a long time and, I mean, I don't even... I think I bought them way back when I did Project Life because uh, gluing on buttons was just a, a big thing back then <laughs> and it must be like five or six, six years maybe seven that they have been lying untouched in my stash so it kind of feels good to use them on a on a thing instead of just keep them taking up space you know okay I kind of like that maybe I should do the same here I don't think that I got enough buttons to cover the whole background uh, so I'm just gonna fill in as much as I can and then try and do it with the space in between so it looks like I intended to leave out a lot of undecorated space and that make it look like I had to suddenly stop you know okay I would love to have like a, a third swirl uh, 
This is such a nasty pearl. I'm not sure that I like it. Okay, I'm gonna use it. I'm never ever gonna use this for anything else. Good lord, I can only pick up one at a time. <laughs> I have to stop this recording. I flipped the, should I call it collage piece? <laughs> It's definitely not a painting. <laughs> I flipped it around because uh, the glue is not totally dry down here and I, <laughs> I can just see myself put my fat sleeve and, and just <laughs> remove all the pearls unintentionally. So it's a good thing about knowing yourself, you know, <laughs> your strong and weak sides. But I'm so grateful for being able to make this as an upload and not like a live stream oh my god i would be pulling in an all-nighter if i had to live stream this because uh, it, it looks like it's pretty fast but i think i think time just fl f uh, flying by like uh, Okay, I do think that this is much more entertaining than the Serac dot <laughs> painting style. <laughs> but I think the reason why this is more fulfilling is because the dots that you're putting down are so much larger than a dot from a, a marker. So your progress is, um, is going on, you know, you can see it happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mounted, I'm working on a, just a regular piece of um, paper, I think it's like 80 GSM, it's not that thick, so I mounted it on the, you know, on a paper pack, on the back there is this uh, chipboard to support the paper pack, I just uh, ripped that off and then uh, glued down this sheet of paper on that chipboard so it's it's a uh, kind of sturdy now and I can feel when I turned it around that it's going into having some more weight you know it's all these <laughs> buttons are weighing it down so that's just nice I like uh, that it got that weight gusto about it Oh, it is so fulfilling to finally get a purpose for these green pearls. <laughs> it's not my style at all. And look at it's it looks like this. It's just generic green plastic pearls. So difficult to use, you know, but um it came in that jewelry set. So it's not something that I've picked out myself, but I can t I can see how if this is going to be a fun hobby in the future, how it certainly is uh, fun to go thrift thrifting and just pick up a huge bag of beads and buttons. So let's say that I did that, then <laughs> it would be the same story as the. Uh, the one I told about the woman who inherited a, a large collection of buttons where she just wanted to use them and then ended up <laughs> enlarging the collection and start collecting herself. <laughs> so, <laughs> could you just see it like now here in December 21, I'm sitting here bragging about using up all my stash and then <laughs> see you later guys in 2022 December. <laughs> If this catch on, <laughs> I have been like hoarding and collecting all sorts of random items to glue on um, on big sheets of paper <laughs> because I'm telling you guys, you can glue ev anything on these uh, in this art style. Um, I mean, I saw that in Daphne's diary, the lady. She had glued on 
a leg from a Barbie doll as the nose brim. So, and spoons and, uh, you know, like, like you can really, you can really <laughs> go nuts with these. But I think the, the clue is to work in a very big scale, like the size of a coffee table or something, so that you really can utilize crazy stuff. And I kind of like that uh, it looks crazy up close, kind of look ugly up close, I would say. <laughs> but then when I'm taking a break and I'm entering the room and I see it from a distance, I start smiling like, oh, it, it really does look like a face, you know. <laughs> so. But I think it's all about value. Uh, of course, I had to do a face, but I was thinking before I, I started what would be the easiest topic to choose. Like if it was too difficult to make a face because, you know, <laughs> how, how can you be sure that you've got the exact shaded buttons for skin tone and all that. So, um... Yeah, I'm glad that I didn't give it too much pondering and then just jumped into it because if I had thought more about it and looked at my selection of colors, I may have deviated from the plan and then just make some bushes or plants or whatnot because it looks like I got more green colors than um, like skin tone and pink. So, I, I guess I just got lucky. Um, let me see if I can take the camera down. The camera arm wants to go back up. So, this is the furthest down that I can get. Boo-hoo, now I'm running out of these round pearls. And unfortunately, I got this glue here. Hmm. Maybe I can transport the glue over here. I am really hoping that it's going to dry out totally transparent. But, yeah, is this fun to watch or what? <laughs> oh, there's not much. What is it called? RSMRS, so I don't even know what the letters are called. But, you know, when you like to hear something. Oops, that's yellow. When you like to hear, like, a, a certain sound. Maybe it's okay that it's yellow. There is a... A little bit about this sound my cats like the sound I think it's because it reminds them of the sound of food you know like those um, dry dry food for cats when it's in the bowl <laughs> okay this is kind of stupid when I'm started in both ends because then I need to push my luck that Oh, you can't even see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I did was that I I started here and I didn't finish here. So I was pushing my luck that I could connect those two. <laughs> um, maybe I should try and make some sort of a swirl here. Oh, I think... I'm procrastinating that part and then going for bigger buttons here. Hmm. 
Ja. Ähm. It's thinning out my my choices very rapidly. I think should I'm, I'm thinking if I should dig for more stash. I didn't like look. There, there are several places in this house where there could be some buttons, but I think that the, it's more like dark colored buttons, like um, black and, and yeah, black buttons. So it wouldn't help me. <laughs> this. Up here, I, th I should try this uh, solid yellow here. Maybe that's too. No, I should go for this darker one, I think. use a ton of glue <laughs> better know that it's like totally sticking to the page than not and I kind of like to see that the glue is um, burping up through the holes in the bottoms because then I know for sure that they're going to be attached <laughs> now I am running a little bit low on this I'm just having it end like that. Maybe I should try and attach it to, like, like imagining it's going behind her hair or something. Okay, now I need a tiny, tiny one. <laughs> the tiniest, teeny, teeny, ooh, right here maybe. Oh yeah, I am so lucky. Like. <laughs> It's just the, uh, you know, things just matched up in a lot of cases. Let me try and turn this. Okay, I'm still procrastinating that the uh, earpiece. But I think I will leave this spot right here for the, the earring. And then maybe work on something here. I kind of like that indie vibe this uh, painting got. Don't you guys? Like like I can totally feel that indie, indie vibe. Vibration. Okay, yellow, yellow. I got some solid yellow buttons that are like really beautiful. Oh, 
Oh no, what's that? The last one. Yeah. Okay. Then what? Maybe this one. I'm all into this, uh, so I'm not talking so much. Maybe I should pause the recording, <laughs> just sit and enjoy this in my own silence. Yeah, well, there's not, not much to tell. It's been going on in my life. Um, you know, we're preparing for Christmas. I got most of my presents bought, which is uh, always a joy because I think it's so difficult to find presents for people. And um, you would think that I would know what my hobby would want for Christmas, you know, but <laughs> every year I'm like clueless. So this year I am, I hope my son is not watching this. Why should he? I'm giving my son a hairdryer. Uh, he's been borrowing my hairdryer for a while. <laughs> and uh, first I have to admit, I was looking for, oh, if I bought a new one for myself with a cool setting that I could use it when I'm working on the jelly plate. But then I was thinking, no, it's so lame, you know. <laughs> so I actually bought him a brand new one that has this cool setting. So my plan is to just borrow it from him whenever I want to jelly plate. So I can't wait to, when he has unboxed it, to bring it into the craft room and then use it when I'm jelly plating. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm glad that I uh, did this pattern with the bottoms because I can see now that even though it looked like I had a fairly good amount. Uh, it would not have been enough to cover this whole background. And it's okay, you know, because I, I kind of like that the, um, the background is not totally covered with the bottoms because then it would like take over from the, the face. Oops. Oh, then I need a tiny one. Maybe this one. Yeah, once again, luck is a lady. Can you see how lucky I am? <laughs> it just fits perfectly. Uh, okay, let me work a little bit off camera with the rest. This is my collection of trinkets, my box of trinkets. I got this funny button here that could go for like a piece of jewelry. Or maybe this one. <laughs> I really like this one. It's also like metal, so kind of looks like jewelry and then this is boring maybe a locket no yeah this 
or something with this depending on how it looks yeah I think that's the best choice let's audition it first we got this one and then we got this one uh, kind of bothers me that it cannot lie flat I don't know how to break off the, the thing in the back could I mount it between two buttons no okay I think it must be this one then yeah I think I should go for full coverage. I am so close to half full coverage. Uh, okay, I can try and um, lift it up so you can uh, get a better view. You see, I did go in and paint the background with some acrylic just to have a color blocking. But um, can you see, I'm so close to half that full coverage of the background. <laughs> I just think it would be a shame to put in more buttons so instead I will try and use these tiny tiny beads that I got I mean look they are so tiny um, <laughs> I cannot see myself sitting with a needle and trying to you know <laughs> trying to thread them even on a needle so my plan is and I'm not sure it's gonna work but I'm thinking about depositing some glue and then simply just pouring with a spoon pouring the pearls on top I'm not gonna push them down or anything and sure it's gonna be like hit and miss so I have to dust this uh, over the trash can when it's dried up so that all the unattached pearls don't end up everywhere <laughs> in my room maybe with a skewer I can push some of them in place Yeah, the, the, the bad thing about these tiny, tiny pearls is that it's very difficult to find a needle that will thread all of them. So I remember I have used some earlier where it was like every third <laughs> pearl I took didn't want to go through the needle. So it was kind of irritating to work like that, you know, first picking them up, eyeballing the hole putting it into onto the needle and then it wouldn't push through the eye of the needle so it was like uh <laughs> so oh I did did, did you guys uh, notice the earring I can lift it up again the earring came up to look like this and this is where I'm filling in I filled in the with the tiny pearls oops <laughs> Maybe I could try and zoom down oh it's such a shame that my camera won't stay in position okay I actually think that if you want to attempt this at home can you imagine taking an old calendar where they've got like big images and then just work on top of that so you didn't have to like figure out what to paint or paint it yourself sketch it out you could simply just follow the printed image and then with a value finder um, go through your stash 
and start gluing things on top of the image that has the same color or at least same value. And then it would be like when you're diamond painting where the print of what you're going to make is underneath so you don't have to think much. Yeah, there is something like really soothing about <laughs> just, you know, sitting relaxed. I also love that this is a change up of what I normally do. Um, I do think that I'm very versatile with medias. I do acrylic and oil pastel. Recently used markers. Um, of course, watercolor a lot. That's my my go-to medium. So trying out something else is <laughs> just a fresh blow into my craft room. But it surely would drive me bonkers if I had to do this one more time because then I know myself I would blow up the substrate to a much larger um, size so that you can really get into detail easily and then <laughs> it would just take me forever. It would be like forever, ever, ever to uh, complete the second one if I have to attempt this one more time. I got a bead stuck here on the... I have actually almost emptied out the whole tray of beads in this uh, little kit here. So lucky that I picked green for the background. I didn't do that intentionally. It just, uh, you know, I, I don't even know. Oh yeah, it was because I had a lot of green buttons. But um, after I decided to make the background green, I found this uh, jewelry kit. So it was kind of lucky, you know, that the kit contains green shaded items that I can use. Gives a funny sound when I'm picking them up. I hope it's not super annoying to listen to in the stream. But yeah, if I can uh, stand this for so many hours, it really is motivating me to try out a diamond painting. First, I was like, when I first saw diamond paintings, I was like, oh, it looks so beautiful with all the glimmer and the glass beads and everything. But then <laughs> I'm just getting a little bit intimidated about, you know, the size of it and also uh, what it demands in time. So uh, I never really have tried it out, but it's kind of stupid because... Um, Apparently, I don't mind <laughs> using a lot of time when I'm doing things. But also, like I said earlier, I'm some sort of a finisher. So if I start a diamond painting, I go from start to finish. That's just the nature of me, I think. <laughs> I'm not so good at having several projects unfinished, UFOs lying around. It kind of stresses me out because um, I feel that I, in the spur of the moment, got a brilliant idea and I'm not so good at writing down notes. 
So what if I cannot tune in to that brilliant idea month after? <laughs> so I, I tend to work from start to finish. But you do you. <laughs> and that's just how I work and enjoy it the most. Oh, I can't wait to see how this is going to dry up. I did use some white beads, um, glass beads in the eye and then some grey tone glass beads uh, for the upper shadow of the eye. And I can see that the glue is uh, dried up totally transparent so I expect the best result from this. Now I'm thinking how much do I have of what color? Maybe I should try putting in some of the darker beads up here so that I know how far down they will cover. Ooh, it's getting heavier and heavier. <laughs> I like that it's so heavy. I got no clue how I'm gonna frame this and hang it on a wall, but it is going to be hung up. No doubt about that. I probably have to mount it somehow to a frame. <laughs> I like to um, switch out my artwork, so I, I like that I can uh, just switch out what's inside the frame so I would really hate if I had to glue this on the glass plate on the front of one of my frames <laughs> but maybe hubby got like a perfect idea of how to hang this thing up and if it takes him eons to figure it out then I know that he dislike it <laughs> no he's kind of cool he's you know, very supportive of uh, whatever I'm creating. And uh, in fact, he was just in a second ago to say goodnight. And then he was like, ooh, asking if uh, it was a Christmas wish, if I wanted more pearls, because he saw that I almost emptied out <laughs> stash of things. And I'm like, no, <laughs> because the whole... You know, motivation, idea of doing this is to get rid of my stash. So, thanks God he asked. Could you picture if I'm, a Christmas Eve is unboxing, <laughs> unwrapping <laughs> more, <laughs> more stuff? <laughs> then it would be like, uh Okay, now I'm getting a little bit sloppy, I think. So it's awesome with this skewer. So I can go in without getting glue on my fingers and then just push it gently down into the glue. That is likable. But yeah, it's a little bit tedious for you guys to watch. So I'm just going to stop the recording now and then continue. Ta-da! It's finished! <laughs> I tried to zoom out as much as I could so you can see it from a distance. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to dry up very neatly. Let's see if I can lift it up. <laughs> Look how well the corners, or uh, the top corner right here, it, it's just possible to line up the pearls so that you get a nice finish on the edges. I really like that. I really love using those tiny, tiny glass beads to fill in um, 
between the buttons it's very likable like for background that you got this kind of a flat low profile for the background and then you got more like um, raised profile for the face so <laughs> I really like it a lot it was super super fun to make actually when I look at it right now I can't believe that uh, I have made all this and sit and glued everything down it looks like I don't know it looks like a lot more work than it actually felt it was if it makes sense <laughs> how can I explain it yeah I really think that you should try it out if you <laughs> like this kind of mosaic style so uh, it's not that it's not bad you know it's not the that time consuming it looks like really overwhelming when you, <laughs> when you see and focus on all the thousand small items but when you are in the zone it just progresses so fast because you know your things are so large you actually wish that you had smaller items believe it or not <laughs> I really enjoyed having those tiny small buttons up here for the eyelid um but uh yeah <laughs> I like it I actually haven't posted anything on Instagram for a while so I think tomorrow in daylight I will snap a picture of it and put it on my Instagram so but what I like the most is that it's so shiny so it looks like a jewelry like uh I don't know it's just really really shiny and glossy all, all that plastic <laughs> so it's a very likable look when you're used to watercolor or other kind of media to, to see this different thing coming back at your eyes the colors are, um, are really vivid and shiny so yeah if you watched this far thank you thank you so much I wish you a nice weekend bye bye